Everyone faces challenges at some point in our lives. Sometimes, things just go on and on until we cannot bear it anymore. We tend to panic, suffer from depression, get anxious at little things, and paranoid by small stuffs. Our battles do not solely come from our physical strengths or emotional resilience. We must care about our mental fortitude as well. In this time of the COVID-19 pandemic, our mental battles get tougher. It is time that we should take good care of our mental health. For us, we take care of our mental health just like the care we give to our physical health. Although we cannot deny the fact that the pressure, depression, and anxiety is building up too much in our system, we still cannot let our mental health deteriorate because of the negativities. We think that seeking help from others can be life-changing to those who suffer from mental health problems. Mental health care does not just take place in the mere presence of mental disorders. We believe that our mental health state can affect a person's way of thinking and his or her lifestyle. But what does someone exactly feel when they face mental health problems? Do they isolate themselves? Do they try to solve the problem face to face? Or do they just go along with the flow? Afraid, anxious, sad, and unappreciated. Yes, it happens all the time. We are afraid of what the people might think of us because of our personality. Some of us are shy and cannot deal with people properly. We tend to back out of situations we are afraid to face. We constantly doubt ourselves and get anxious. And isn't it sad, whenever you feel unappreciated despite all your efforts? Isn't it sad, when you see other families that are happy despite of the pandemic, while some of us suffer from our parents' problems? Isn't it unfair, that some of the friends you know get to sleep safe and sound while you just cannot get the voices out of your head and you just cry yourself to sleep? Isn't it alarming for you, on what mental health problems can cause to a person's life? especially students like us. Restless, complicated, constantly in pain, and confused. We are not robots of your evolving society. How can we understand the things you say to us? I mean, think about it. You want us to do our best to get mad if it's not good enough for you. Do you know how tired we get just by thinking ways on how we can be worthy enough for you to be proud of us? It's complicated, but it is not impossible to find ways and solutions for the mental health battles each one of us faces. Listen, whenever in doubt, we want you to remember this Bible verse, Matthew 6, 25-27. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, 
what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your life? Do not hesitate to be open with your feelings to others. Knowing what's problem is like opening a door full of solutions. Seeking help does not mean you are weak and cannot handle small problems. It shows the strength to admit you are weak and in need of help. You live most of your life inside your head, so make sure that it is a good place to be. Have the courage to face your problems and be brave enough to seek help from others.